And thankfully, that is in our distant memory. Hopefully, uh, you and your family did okay. Today, we made it into the upper 80s with mostly dry weather. And tonight, we've got dry weather. But I don't know if you've been outside in the last couple of hours since it's got dark. But you might see some lightning off in the distance. That's coming from this storm 70 miles uh, uh, away. Or this one almost 95 miles away back toward the triad. So a little bit of a light show, but no concerns here in central North Carolina. And if you have concerns about summer ending, we're halfway through. Today is the midway point of summer, 48 days until autumn. So good news if you're tired of the heat already, we're halfway there. And bad news if you're in love with this hot weather, you still have almost 50 days until fall actually begins. Remember though, last year, the third day of October was our hottest day of the entire year at 100 degrees. So you know how it is in North Carolina. You never know about our weather. We know about tomorrow, it's gonna still be warm, mainly dry in the morning. Can't rule out an isolated shower in the morning, but the better rain chances will come in the afternoon between lunchtime and dinner time. It's up to about 30 and 40%. And after topping out in the upper 80s today, we will do the same tomorrow with a high of 87. All right, our Super Sunset segment had to take a few days off because of the hurricane, but it's back and better than ever tonight. And I want to thank Kim for this amazing shot down in Anger. You can kind of see the shadow that is being created from another cloud as the sun is setting. You call that a sun ray, a crepuscular ray, but it's an amazing super sunset. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. And if you don't know, I try to show your sunset and sunrise pictures every night at 11 o'clock. So drop me an email to send it at cbs17.com. Tell me when it was, where it was, and tell me a story about it if you like. I try to share them every night at 11 o'clock. Tonight, we are watching a frontal system that is not going to cool us down. It is going to hang around the next few days and increase our rain chances, including tomorrow. So let's start you off about 7 or 8 a.m. We'll have some clouds. There might be some patchy fog and maybe an isolated shower. Bill and Laura will be here tomorrow morning starting at 4.30, keeping an eye on that for you. By lunchtime, a little better chance of rain. And then especially as we get into the afternoon, notice we'll have some Scattered showers, some heavy downpours, maybe a rumble of thunder. Some of that rain sticking around through dinner time, and then a lot of it going away, but there will be some rain around as we head into the evening hours tomorrow. And similar to today, tomorrow we also have a marginal risk of severe weather. It's really from the triangle on north. Remember, marginal risk is a one on our one to five scale, and we'll be on the lookout for damaging wind tomorrow. Got some news from the tropics today. It is this little area of thunderstorms and low pressure, rather disorganized, and again, it's a couple hundred miles off the east coast, but it only has a 10% chance of developing. This isn't the big news that came out of the tropical world today. It came from Colorado State University. They issued an update to their hurricane season outlook. Their first one came out back in April when they said there would be 16, eight, and four. Name storms, hurricanes and major hurricanes. That's above the average of 12, 6, and 3. They updated this in July. They upped it to 20, 9, and 4. Well, the new update that came out today says there's going to be a total of 24 named storms all season, 12 of them becoming hurricanes, 5 major. 24 named storms. On the list, there's only 21, so that means three extra. So it is possible, according to this forecast, that for the second time ever, we could go to the Greek alphabet. We'd have to go to alpha, beta, and gamma if that forecast holds true. And as you know, it has already been a busy season. Nothing imminent for us, but August and September are typically our busiest times. Tomorrow and Friday, we're still in the upper 80s with slightly better chances of rain. The rain chances will go down here at home this weekend to 20%, and our temperatures will stay around 90. We've got a few 90s scattered in next week on your exclusive 10-day forecast with our best rain chances next week, Wednesday and Thursday.